Okay, so I'd like to uh, look at the code, what that would actually look like for conditions. As you can see here, we have our public class, we'll call it simple condition, and we have our main function. I've declared two variables, a equals zero, b equals seven, both are type integers. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the if statements. So in the first case, I have if a is less than b, and we're basically can do, doing a normal uh, Boolean expression of is a less than b. In this case, zero is less than b. Zero is less than seven. And so it will print out that a is less than b. We then come to the next one. If a is equal to equal to b, um, equals equals b. So we're looking for equality of the two variables. And the answer is no. So this will not actually print out. Now, if you actually take a look at this code in the sample code, uh, it will give you an error. It's because there is a bug in the code. That is actually by design. Uh, some of the code that I give you that sample will return an error. And the idea is for you to look at what some errors may, uh, may be generated when certain uh, uh, code is written and so you can actually begin to start understanding how to debug and where the problems lie. So now we're going to take a look at the switch statement. Uh, here I have switch A is uh, case 0. We're looking for this. System out dot print line A is 0 break. So we know that since A is 0 it will actually come to this line and it will execute this statement, follow the break and then jump out. Had we changed this to switch B, it will jump to this line, system.out.println. So switch B will do case 7, because B is 7, and then it will break. And in this case, if uh, we change the values up at the top in lines 5 or 6, uh, it will come over to the default. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to just point out that if we were to take this line out, this break line, and just leave this, I'll move this up here just to make it a little bit cleaner, so it looks something like this. Sometimes we, we will actually move from an indentation standpoint uh, so we can see where things drop down. Since A is zero, it will do system.out.println, but since there's no corresponding break, it will continue and it will execute this line as well. So you would get A is seven. Then since it finds a break, it would jump out. So the only thing I will tell you is please be careful with the uh, with the braces. Uh, one thing I'd like to just mention is, is that these if statements do not need a brace if it's only one line. Uh, if you only have a single statement, you, don't, you can ignore the braces. It is good practice, however, to put in the braces. So I'll just add those in here just so we can see what that would look like. And the statement might look like this. And I can add as many lines as I want. Uh, System.out.println, hello. And so I can continue doing this as many times as I wanted to. Uh, if I wanted to make an else condition out of this, I would just add an else. I might put uh, the set of braces there. And you'll notice that inside of this else, I have another if condition. So I could then do these nested ifs. If such and such, if such and such, if such and such. And you might end up with nested ifs that look something like this. A is less than C. And I might have another set of braces here. And I might do another if A is less than D. And again, I will do another set of braces there. And so these are what are known as nested ifs. It's always a good idea to begin lining up your braces. There are two ways that uh, people generally like to do braces. One is to put the starting brace on the same line as, say, the if for which you'll deal with uh, uh, loops and iterations very shortly. Another is to put the brace on the line below and then match up a corresponding brace uh, in a similar line on the same column. Uh, my personal preference is I prefer to actually put the beginning brace uh, at the end of that line and then match the last line or the last brace to the corresponding command. What you'll also see people do is they will also add comments after the last brace and I might do something like end if a less than b so that I know exactly which brace belongs to uh, which set of conditions. So that's going to conclude this example for conditions.